In this video, I will show, how to get the data from Wikipedia using Python. To do so, I will use here a Python library called Wikipedia. First, I'll try to extract two lines of information about Kevin Mitnick from the summary portion of the title. This is a Wikipedia page about Kevin Mitnick and it is the introduction section. We will try to extract first two lines from here using our Python script. Look, it has successfully extracted the data from there. Now, we will query a keyword and try to figure out how many Wikipedia pages there are on the web. In our case, we want the first five suggestions. Let's check how many Wikipedia pages we've found on the keyword London City before executing this with our Python script. Look, we have found so many suggested Wikipedia pages on the web. We'll extract the first five title names from here using our Python script. We found the top five title names on the London keyword. Now, we will extract the entire data from the same Wikipedia page and print the list of titles of page links present on that page. If you look closely, you will see that a Wikipedia page contains a lot of links. Here, we will print the title name of 10 such links using our Python program. We got title name of 10 such links here. Not only English, you can also get result data in your preferred language. I will print here the data about London City in French instead of English. Let's see what happens. We got the data in French language. Sometimes it happens that we type wrong spelling while searching something on the web. Likewise here I entered the spelling of mortgage intentionally wrong. But, there is a function named suggest which helps in finding the correct suggestion name for a query. Let's check if our program can detect and correct the word or not. Look, we've got the correct spelling of the word mortgage here. Today, we learned how to get data about a topic from Wikipedia using Python even without visiting the web. We covered several examples here. It was the most conventional way to do the task. We can also get the data even more informatively but using another web scrapping method. I will talk about this later. I put a separate article on my website on this topic. You can get the source code easily from there. For any query, don't be hesitate to leave your comment below. You will get an immediate response. Thanks for watching. See you soon in the next video.